Tom here from Warren Systems, and this is a U6LR high performance access point, Wi Fi 6 access point from Unify. I've actually been testing it for the last couple of months, but I haven't done a lot of videos on Unify 6, and essentially it's because, well, they're in short supply even here in October of 2021. We bought this a few months ago when they were like limit two per customer, and now they're in like limit four per customer. So progress has been made, but they're still not easy to get our hands on like 300 of these to do a large scale deployment for me to really do that in depth review. But I wanted to at least talk about it, talk about the testing process and how we look at reviews. So you have a little bit of insight into these. Too long, didn't watch. Uh, it's been working perfectly fine at my house. I'm bad about getting people to watch the entirety of my video, but hey, at least I saved you clicking you got this far. Before we dive into the details of the video, if you want to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire us for a project, there's a hire us button right at the top. If you'd like to hire us for network consulting or Unify consulting, that's where you do that at. If you want to support this channel in other ways, there's affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on this channel. The U6LR is a high performance access point leveraging advanced Wi-Fi 6 technology to provide powerful wireless coverage. And then there's lots of other details in here, like, you know, 2.4 gigahertz, 4x4 MIMO radio, uh, 1.3 gigahertz, dual core processor. That's important stuff here. Four stream Wi-Fi 6 technology. Why wouldn't you want to buy this device? I mean, it even comes with a fancy metal backing plate and uh, that I'm less a fan of, but it works. But it does also have these cool clips right here that allow you to mount it to the drop ceiling type of rails. But you didn't come here just to see exactly what's on the spec sheets and marketing materials, right? That's one of the reasons when I do my reviews, they're often based on real world usage as much as I can, as much as reasonable. And real world usage has been very limited on these due to the fact that, well, like I said in the beginning of the video, very limited amount of them are available. We have a lot of deployments we've done that are very large in different warehouses and different larger scale projects. And those large scale projects give me better data sets. We really try to apply a, a scientific method. We don't want to know how this performs at one location. How does a bunch of these perform at a bunch of different locations? What were the challenges? What were some of the problems you run into? And because of the limited availability, I've kind of avoided doing some in-depth reviews on any of the Wi-Fi 6. So I wanted to make this video to one, kind of mention that. And two, yes, we have been testing them though, but I'm not going to dive into speed tests. Chris from Crosstalk Solutions, I'll leave a link to his video down below, did a series of speed tests on these devices. Now, they're fast and they're Wi-Fi 6. One of the problems, though, and we've done a lot of testing internally, I just don't bother publishing it because the numbers don't give a lot of meaning. And let me get a little more in-depth on that. The problems we ran into were different phones had different speeds when we were doing the phone tests. Different laptops had different speeds when we were doing speed tests. And things like moving a laptop over, literally a foot sometimes would change the results. Wi-Fi is really tricky when it comes to getting absolutely consistent speed tests. They're also not what most of our clients are looking for. Almost always people saying, I want the utmost fastest and highest speed out of my Wi-Fi device is generally a home user request. And I get that. I but unfortunately, that is really not an easy thing to reproduce on a consistent basis when you talk about where to place it in your house. I know where I put it in my house, and it works really well working in my basement, works all the way out in my yard, uh, but I can't guarantee it'll work in your yard the same way. Most of the business use cases we have from these are all about connectivity. When I mention things like the warehouse project, the client is sending kilobits of data, not even megabits of data, literally just kilobits of data across several tablets attached to Hilos, and they want the utmost connectivity. Now, there's some obvious advantages of Wi-Fi 6 when it comes to higher density environments, and I get all that, but we have not been able to test any of the Unify stuff at scale. But I at least want to give an update, and I've been using, well, not this one. The, this is We bought two of them because it was limit two. Uh, I have one at my house that I've been using for several months, and it's worked great. And I've had no problems with it. Matter of fact, I would definitely, if you can get a hold of these, say, yeah, this is worth buying, worth putting one in at home. But for the businesses asking for it, it's just not been available for us to do. We just had another project that we ended up using a different version, the older version of them because it was the only thing they could get at the quantity they needed in the time frame that they wanted to get the project done. They said later we'll upgrade to Wi-Fi 6, but honestly, connectivity is still very adequate with the older models, and the older models are much more readily available to buy a hundred of them for a project, or even three or four hundred of them for some of the slightly bigger projects. So uh, my review of it is, yes, it works. 
yes, it works well. We haven't had any issues. We haven't had any problems with it. Uh, we, as in me and my family, that's, I know, a very limited data set. And any of the consulting we've done related to Unify, we haven't had too many people bringing up issues with it. I haven't seen the DHCP bug come up with these models, but we do a lot of PFSense, and it never came up with the other models with PFSense, PFSense and DHCP. If you look up something like SonicWall, unify access points in DHCP, you'll find a lot of problems. We hardly run into that many sonic walls, except for one project that the client insisted on using sonic walls and they ran into the DHCP problem with some of the models. Uh, static IPs were the temporary fix until firmware updates were available. Back to the Unify 6. I li like these devices. I think Unify's done a good job with them. Unify's done an overall good job with their access points and switches. If you're curious about their routing equipment, I'll leave a link to my Unify Dream Machine, a USG video I did recently, talking about some of the shortcomings those products have when it comes to routing, but still think they're good for home users. But this right here, if you are looking for a good Wi-Fi unit, I do like these. Now, if you've not at all heard of Unify before right now and you're just looking for a good Wi-Fi 6 device, Please be warned, you do need to run to get the most out of these, the Unify software-defined networking controller, which you can host yourself or buy a Unify cloud key or run a Unify Dream Machine to connect to these. And that sometimes is a challenge for people looking for a standalone device. They don't think they should have to run software. But this is one of the things that gets tricky to recommend because I get it. You don't want to set up the Unify software-defined network controller just to run a single access point in your house. Um, but that is the way these are kind of designed to work to get the most out of them. Now, one other thing I'll mention is I do have a mix in my house because I have in-wall in my office. The in-wall is not Wi-Fi 6. It's the older in-wall model HD. And I don't have any roaming issues because I know that was a question a few people have messaged me. And I just wanted to throw it out there and clarify that these seem to work fine in a mixed environment. Now, granted, my environment at home is pretty limited. It's laptops, a handful of the kids' laptops to do schoolwork and uh, Google Chromecast in order to watch different services and some of those are complex some of that's youtube and yes plex is on the same network as the google chromecast because getting them on different networks becomes even for me something i don't feel like dealing with right now back over to these do i think they're a good buy yes do i think i will review them in the future when they become much more available yes i'll dive more into it and then be able to give you that more in-depth answer you're looking for um but i'm not gonna bother running any speed tests like i said i think chris from crosstalk solutions did a good job on that and he even comments on some of the challenges of figuring out exactly uh, where some of the problems may lie and of course they're always with the equipment he tested and maybe different than the results you have with the equipment you test so that's my quick review of the unify u6 lr the long range does seem to hold up to being long range telling you the distance it works through my walls won't give you better insight on whether or not they'll work through your walls so you kind of got to buy one and maybe if you have to buy one more or even still put a couple of those less expensive outdoor access points outside um which i was thought i was going to have to do and didn't um but they should roam fine between them uh using these devices right here all right and thanks and thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed this content please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more content from this channel hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to hire a sure project head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the hire us button right at the top to help this channel out in other ways, there's a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.